Hey, what's going on? I got to do a video this week. I'm not really doing anything, so I forgot to do a video on the Super Radio. I had enough time uh, with it now for... I've had it for about three months. And uh, I picked it up on eBay for 50 bucks. It was brand new. Um, it says RCA on here. But I've seen the Super Radio saying Panasonic on it and something else. I don't know if they just... I think they're pretty much they're all the same. And they just put these tags on it. I could be wrong. But the back of the the back of the unit actually says RCA on it, so maybe it's RCA now. Uh, they've been making a super radio now for 20 years, I think. Maybe a little less, a little more, who knows? But uh, it's a decent radio. I was going for something that worked better than what I had before with the same radios and the warning radios, because when the when the power went out, they just died in about two hours. This thing has 60 batteries in it. It has a power cord. Um, we'll go over the features. You've got AM, FM, long range, high performance, uh, wide and normal band, AM, FM, auto frequency control, basically to lock the station in when you find a station you want. The reception down here is terrible. So uh, I'll just turn that on and it locks the station in. You have a antenna up top, right? And inevitably, when it breaks, I try not to break them, but they always break. Uh, one screw in the back, whoop, pops right out, and it tells you what kind of antenna you need to put back in. It says RCA is made in China. It's only three watts. Um, you have an FM antenna. You have a ground, and you have an AM antenna if you want to. Uh, go ahead and do that with wires but the antenna itself works pretty good you have a nice carrying handle on there uh, spring loaded power button the grill is metal it's got a substantial woofer in there and a nice tweeter that puts out uh, some pretty decent mid-range too uh, you have three controls here you have treble bass and volume and this sucker is actually pretty darn loud, especially if you're working out in the yard. I had to turn my computer on so I can upload this thing. Um, this is a radio that was meant to last, built to last. I mean, you don't have all the uh, the features that you would have with the dime a dozen uh, things that are cranking out these days. What I've noticed is all these new boom boxes and things, I sound like such an old man when I say this, they all suck, I tell you, they all suck. Now, they do, they, mostly they all suck. Um, you can't fix them, the reception's horrible, the sound's horrible, and the price is through the roof. Like A lot of places, you'll, you'll see them in Target, and you'll see them at Best Buy, and these places like they're like disposable radios. Uh, take them out for the one picnic, and uh, if it ever works again, hey, you're, you're ahead of the game. This one was, uh, like I said, made to last, and you can actually work on it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't take the thing apart and be like, hmm, I think I'll replace the circuit board. I'm not going to do that. I'm just saying it in general. Um, I've seen reviews on this radio, and people have said that they've had it for 15 or 16 years and never had an issue with it. Um, so let's put the antenna up. It's a pretty substantial antenna, too. Turn it on. Sounds pretty darn good, and like I said, you can you can make it pretty darn loud. Now in the back here, it has six D batteries. It say it recommends taking them out after a month. And now that I'm thinking about it, I think I'm gonna pop them out because I only use the cord for this. That's how I roll. Um, and I should just save the batteries. You know what happens? I'll tell you folks what happens. What happens is when you leave these these batteries in there, 
this is what happens. What happens? This is what happens. These batteries burst and they start uh, leaking acid all over the place, which really blows. Um, strings in here are pretty nice. You got a little loop to hold the batteries in place. And then you have a big cord here. That's just a pretty substantially long cord. Is that even a word? Substantially long cord? Who cares? You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. That's a pretty long cord. <laughs> if I say so myself. All right, let's close that up. See that little notch? So that goes in there so you don't pinch the cord. Don't pinch the cord. One more time, don't pinch the cord. There we go. Put it back in there. And again, the cord is replaceable too. Uh, let's say the cord. I can't even read it. Who knows? Um, and I was really pleased with this. And when you take the batteries out, it's actually pretty light. But, you know, if you take the batteries out and you take it outside, it's pretty much useless. You know what I'm saying? Um, top folds down. It is. It's actually a really nice radio. But, oh, but like I was saying, you don't have an iPod dock and you don't have a charging station and it's not solar powered and uh, you can't use it underwater or on the moon. Um, anything else? You can't heat up a burrito inside of it. I mean, these are some of the things you'll get with the newest stuff, but something like this, like I said, this is something you would like paint the walls with, work in the garage with, work on the car, work out in the backyard, work, 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 drink beer with. Um, so I, I would give it a definite uh, a recommendation. I really like it. And for 50 bucks, absolutely i would have spent over a hundred for this thing i just think it was that great so i give you i figured i'd give you a quick i don't know if you'd call it a review just one man's opinion on something i have a lot of opinions but in this case uh i'm actually very pleased with it i went back to using my old camera i went out and i bought one of these samsung whatever the heck they are and HD underwater blah 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 but it doesn't work half as good as the uh, Casio Exilum that I'm using that's what I use to make uh, cooking videos because I can edit them really quick if I try and do anything with this my editing process will be about six hours it just takes the fun out of it so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this it doesn't taste as great pictures and it doesn't taste as great videos they're clear but you know they're kind of jumpy this one say See what I'm saying? It's not that fast, but it does work pretty good. What I have to do is I actually have to slow down so you can perceive the video gold. All right, that should do it. That's going to be my review. Uh, what else is going on? Absolutely nothing. It's Memorial Day weekend. Actually, it's Memorial Day. And I am doing absolutely nothing except making this video, hanging out with my cat and having a couple highlights. i got to go work tomorrow, so... I'll check back in with you guys. I'm going to post this tomorrow when I get to work. I'm still, I'm not, I shut the TV off, don't have internet, don't have phone in the house, so, you know, what's the point? <laughs> Later.